Charlotte, your barely recovering shopaholic, satisfying your curiosity in today's What's in My Bag episode. Finally, an episode that doesn't require me to buy anything. So I would like to feature my most recently acquired bag, and this is from Mr. F for our anniversary. And he bought this in Roberto Cavalli here in Manila. This is a Chloe bag, and it is neutral enough with the black and the beige, but it has a special pop of color in front. And you can use this for traveling. That's the best part with the long straps. Let's dive in, shall we? Okay, this is what I call the inception bag because it is a bag in a bag within a bag situation. This is the bag organized that I use which I think is the best invention of the century okay let's start off with my gadgets my iPad mini 4 and my iPod which I use for work for my lyrics and for my backing track I love fantasy creatures like fairies especially unicorns I love unicorns but unicorns aren't fantasy they're real okay what's next is my vanity bag I have here the cherries, of course. I swear I will be reincarnated into cherries. First inside the makeup bag is this clean and clear oil control film because you know what they say, oiliness is next to ugliness. Then I have this easy to apply mousse blush from Elianto in shade soft pink. It is a very youthful color with a shade very close to a natural flush. Then I have my L'Oreal True Match 2-Way Powder Foundation in shade Golden Beige. I like this for the added sun protection of SPF 36 for the vampire that I am. Then I have a comb for my wild hair from a hotel bathroom and a nail file because my nails love to self-destruct. I also carry this black retractable eyeliner because eyeliners usually need a retouch after some time. I have always loved Bloom Lip Glosses from Beauty Bar for the unusual flavor. This shade I carry is called Wanderlust and it is in a very juicy peach shade. This lipstick is from Jazzy Colors in Watson's in shade LPC03. It is the lipstick I use for my lounge singing. It is a medium pink which transforms into a natural shade when the stage lights hit. Another Jazzy Colors lipstick in shade LPC04 which is a very pale pink for my everyday use. In days when I can't even do my eyebrows, I reach for the Clinique lipstick in shade Angel Red. It is in a bold shade with brown undertones which I find quite flattering. So, that is what's inside my makeup bag and as you can see, my everyday makeup aren't expensive. So when I have somewhere else special to go, I grab a supplementary makeup bag from my drawer which is this. And, of course, cherries. Inside my supplementary makeup bag is my MAC lipstick in shade Please Me, which I used to retouch during my wedding day. And for me, nothing beats the finish that my MAC NC30 Studio Fix Powder can give. It can really replace foundation on regular days. What else do we have here? I have my wallet. And this is my first ever luxury good. And this is quite bulky because I like smaller bills. You need smaller bills, especially for group sharing in a restaurant. What else do we have here? I have another pouch, which is my utilities case. My utilities pouch holds my charger, my earphones, a hair tie during bad hair days, a USB drive full of songs, a mosquito repellent in sachet form, and believe it or not, a measuring tape so I can check every day if I'm gaining weight. Just kidding! I use it because I never stop buying things for my house. What else do we have here? Oh, my card case uh, for my discounts. We love a discount. We have here my tissues, wet and dry, because I like having things that I need all the time. I have a hand sanitizer. I have my honey spray for my throat because I'm a singer and host. And I have here my diary, which has the drawing of a unicorn from Mr. F. I told him to draw me a unicorn, this is it. And this is my drawing. Uh, it's, it's safe to say that our kid might not know how to draw. Okay, then I have here my small pouches. This is a Vedasto coin purse and a Vedasto mini pouch. My mini pharmacy, my drugs are inside this. I still have some stuff. I have my my perfume or my cologne. It's not expensive. My friend makes this. I will put it in the description box in case you like it because it's very fresh smelling and inexpensive. Whoa! Are my house keys. My house keys with a lip balm. You know, we like multi-purpose. Here's another house key, of course, as usual. Unicorn. And my car keys are here. And it has the car park ticket case as well attached to it. My iPhone 6 with a bling case because I'm a performer and bling is life for us. Finally, I think the most important thing in this bag, even more important than my wallet, is my umbrella because 
I hate the sun. I have so many freckles. I know you don't see it because of the foundation and the lens and the light. But if you see it in person, you can study astronomy on my face or geography. I think that's it. There you go, my bag. No, I am not a Vidasto endorser. I am just a fan because they are made of genuine leather. They are locally made. They have a lifetime warranty on their bags. And they are probably the cheapest, most fashionable genuine leather bag shop I have seen here in Manila. These are my everyday bags. And everything here is 4,000 pesos or below. For genuine leather, bargain! I know you want to see this, so yes, I will show you. After all, this is an episode on Bag Talk and you like seeing collections and hauls. This is not to brag, okay? This is only to share. After all, this is a closet full of my regrets. Regrets! I have a few! Now that I am older and wiser, I would like to impart some words of wisdom to my younger sisters out there. First of all, style is ever-changing and evolving. Do you still see people walking around with a bucket bag in this shape? Nope, people are more into bigger bags, hobo bags, to fit more of the gadgets. So this is out of fashion already. When I become a mommy, can I still use this bag? I barely even use this now as a non-mom because it can only fit my cell phone and keys and hardly anything else. So in essence, a lot of these bags act as mere displays. What is my favorite bag? Mm, this! Because this is Mr. F's first ever gift to me even before we were officially together. Now that's what I call sex appeal. Or black magic. I noticed that as I grew older, I started buying quality instead of quantity. Because in reality, nobody has the time to switch bags every day, so you only really need a few pieces. There are far better things to aspire for and spend on in life than designer bags. For example, braces. A nice smile will get you further in life than a designer bag. Your health! Gym memberships and healthy food are not cheap, but they will give you better advantages in life than a designer bag. And that's our bag talk for today with a little bit of sharing included. And here is some more sharing. One F bombshell gets to take home this vanity bag with a flamingo print on it. Very cute. And this adorable bag charm, which I used on my Ukai haul. Her name is Princess F. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment down below what beauty item or fashion item are you saving up for to buy. Thank you, my ever-loving and supportive F-Bombshell. See you again next time. Bye!